Hi, I'm Tim. I'm Lizzie. And this is To Play. Or Not. To Play. A show about board games for two players. Whose tastes may differ. Today we're taking a look at Century Spice Road from Plan B Games. This is a two to five player game. Uh, we're going to look at it as a two player game, obviously. Um, and you are merchants on the old Spice Road. <laughs> the oldie, worldy Spice Road. <laughs> they rely heavily on this theme, so we'll come to that later on. <laughs> um, so the idea with this game is that it's a, it's a hand management game uh, where you're trying to achieve, achieve um, trading uh, victories so you can claim victory points. You can buy, basically you sell your uh, spices to buy victory points. So you lay out a set of scorecards. The orange cards are a set of scorecards and you have to buy those with a certain sequence of, of spices or cube colours. Uh, and then uh, along the bottom row is a set of merchant cards and they allow you to do different trades so they allow you to trade two yellow for two red or something like that and you buy these merchant cards into your hand and you try and upgrade your hand as you go so that you can upgrade your spices and then buy victory points the first person to get six of the victory point cards wins the game simple very simple <laughs> now the idea is that you start with two in your hand two merchant cards in your hand and they allow you to buy from the get-go two yellow cards uh, mm -hmm. it's a cube sorry and then you can upgrade also two yellow cubes to two red cubes mm -hmm. quick pop quiz what are the uh, cubes oh god uh, what do they represent <laughs> um i knew this yellow is turmeric yes red is saffron yes green cardamom brown mm, cinnamon cinnamon nice mm. there you go <laughs> very good impressive well there you go. again that will come up in themes because and you tend to kind of forget that at yes. certain points. So the idea, you lay these uh, cubes, the spices, spices, out in a certain order. So yellow, red, green, brown. What are they? <laughs> you just told me. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> and you upgrade yellow to red, red to green, green to brown as you go through the game. And then you can buy more expensive points, if you like. Uh, if you buy the first point card, that's got gold coins alongside it. You can claim a gold coin for buying one of those cards until they're all gone. Uh, and then you slide them along and replenish from the top of the deck. If you buy the second card, you can claim a silver coin. Um, these coins are worth points at the end of the game. The gold mm -hmm. is three points, mm -hmm. the silver is one point. So again, they're just extra points, um, uh, ways of gaining extra points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. You can just obviously ignore those and buy further up the rack. Um, and uh, it's your choice entirely. They come out completely randomly, as do the merchant cards, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, and that is what makes the game interesting. You can't really kind of plan a strategy. Oh, I'm going to buy that card there for 14 points because it's got four greens. I'm going to go for mm. greens, uh, which is... Uh, cardamom. Cardamom. I just told. <laughs> because you may not have the cards in your hand or mm. be able to buy the cards uh, to do that. You know, you might think, oh, that was my idea, but it's not going to work, so I'm going to change my strategy. So it's quite good that that kind mm -hmm. of works. Yeah. Sort of uh, in the game that you can't plan ahead too much. Not too much. No. Work on the fly a bit. Uh, now, uh, in the game, you have four possible actions to take as you play the game. Uh, one action is that you can play a card from your hand down and uh, action the the icon on it. So either it's get some more uh, spices. Cubes. I keep saying cubes with <laughs> spices from the, uh, the the stock. Or you can upgrade from one to the next one up, or sometimes you can upgrade from one to two up. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if you've got an upgrade of two card, you can upgrade one two times, or you can upgrade one, one, and then another one, one. So, you could do yellow mm. to red, yellow to red, or you could do yellow to green. Um, and the idea is that you build your, you've got this little caravan card down in front of you, which is your caravan of, of camels and so on, and you're set collection goes in there your cubes mm -hmm. spices and when you've got 10 you can't go above that but that's you know a very rare thing and if you go above yeah. 10 you just have to put them back in stock so you basically buy and sell these uh, spices to buy victory points yeah uh, and yeah so one of the one of the goes you put down get some cubes upgrade you can rest 
Yeah. Where you can take all your cards that you've played down back up. That's quite a good um, thing to do. I nice, think. yeah. We used nice it quite a lot mechanic. when we yeah, played we did, it. Yeah, yeah, Rested yeah. quite a lot. Yeah, because uh, when you play your card down, it doesn't go away. It's obviously still in your hand, but it's played. So uh, as you get your hand down on the deck, if you've not got anything to play with in your hand, you can come rest and pick it, pick it up. That's a go. Uh, and the other go is to buy veggie points. Mm. Uh, so you s trade in your cubes. You sell your cubes to get veggie points. Um, so that's the four kind of things that you do on your go. Uh, very quick, I'm going to do this. Bang. You're yeah, gonna it turns are really quick. So it goes back and forth really quick. Almost like we weren't yeah. talking like that. Yeah, yeah. You go, that. And, okay. and you said that you can kind of you can see what the other person's playing. You can. Um, I didn't really pay attention to what yeah. you were doing. I was concentrating on my own. You but whereas you tend to stop. look at mine. Well, I, you think I do, but I don't. <laughs> you on, do. On the odd occasion Get I do, sneaky. but I'm so busy kind of concentrating. And it is so tricky that mm. you can't necessarily go for what you're aiming for card-wise, you know, for points. Yep. Yep. That you do have to kind of keep your eye on what's going on. Mm -hmm. For yourself, so much it's hard to kind of because we could be going for the same card, couldn't we? You same could, yeah, and card. you might think, Oh, I'm gonna have to go in quick before mm. she nicks it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I didn't do it's that. A, it's a good, uh, it's a good mm -hmm. technique if you can. There's so much going on, mm -hmm. but it's not complicated, it's very quick, very easy. Um, you were well, from, from what you've just said, if I hadn't played it, I'd be oh, really. <laughs> What? It doesn't make any sense. What? Cards? Spices? What? It's hard to explain. But as soon as we started playing it, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it's really simple. That's fine. It's simple, well, not simple to play, but you need tactics. You need and to whatnot. think about it quite a bit. As you but go. it's simple to pick up and yeah. follow what, what you're doing. Very quick and easy yeah. to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I was, I was like really surprised by how simple it was to pick up, mm. considering the rules and the gameplay. Yeah, yeah. So you liked it because of that, really, didn't you? It's yes, very it, was a, it was a happy surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after the explanation. After the, I'm not playing that. I'm not playing that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, works really well uh, and very easy to play. Very quick. Uh, plays mm -hmm. in about thirty to forty minutes, which is what the box says. So mm -hmm. you know, fairly accurate there. Um, theme. Theme. <laughs> now, let's chat about theme. I theme. Mean, this is obviously yeah. This is obviously sold quite heavily on the theme. Oh, century spice road. You're back in the old days trading spices. I mean, we very rarely notice that. The, the artwork on the card is fantastic. Yeah, really the, nice. The production value, you know, the quality of the components. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got metal coins. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. So not in the art, you know, most games have little cardboard tokens. It's for a coins. big bonus, yeah. These are real metal coins, and that feels really nice to, to play with those. Mm -hmm. The the uh, cubes come in. Uh, the cubes are lovely, really well made, mm. and they come in little bowls in the in the. Almost like little box. baskets, aren't little they? Little baskets, yeah, uh, and it all lays out really well, and mm. it puts away. There's a little insert it looks in the very box. Nice. It's fantastic, really nice. But that theme, much it is, is it's lovely, and it's you know you do kind of feel it to a certain extent. Nah, it's pasted on completely. You what? Ten seconds into the game, you're calling them red and yellow and green, and we did cubes. say actually halfway through the game. Let's stop calling them yellow and red and green and brown. Let's just call them cinnamon. Yeah, let's get into the game. Teamwork, and, but we, did, oh, we ten, didn't. Ten seconds later, back to red and I'm yellow. I'm just going to swap two yellow for a red. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that, that theme is, I mean, it is lovely and it works. Mm. Uh, it's very pretty it's, colours, like the purples and the reds and things. Yeah, it's very but nice. It's, uh, but, but it's not at all red. I didn't feel like I was in a spice market no. selling my wares. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, it's, it's, like a, it's like a card game that you're betting on to try and... Get mm. better odds to, to get better points and so on. So and it's, a, it's, a, it's a card game with based on the colours. Yeah. Really, I yeah. think. But fun. So, yeah, fun, nice, lovely, and all that malarkey, but theme. Yeah. Okay, so I guess next step is scoring. Ooh. <laughs> you first. Not me first this time. Okay. Um, so, again, this is one I brought to the table for you to play. Um, I like it a lot, actually. I do really like the way that it plays. It's nice, kind of, the, the, the turns are really fast. So you kind of, mm -hmm. uh, it's back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. yep. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes to play, yeah. which is what it says on the box, so great. Very easy to pick up, although it did sound confusing. Um, mm -hmm. But Very. it just plays really well, and it is kind of anyone's game. And the the mm -hmm. way that the um, the cards come out randomly from the deck to, to the array, and the way that you can kind of buy them if you can afford them and stuff. Mm -hmm. Works really well, so I like this game a lot. It's very easy to play and very playable. Mm -hmm. So I will give it a that's a drum roll. seven and a half, seven. I'm gonna go seven. Oh, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 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 I'm 
seventeen. Uh, no, no, I'm going to give it an eight. What? Yes. You just said so nice. No, I know. No, I like it. I like it. I'm going to give it an eight. eight. I'm going to wow. give it an eight. There, I've, there, I've said it. <laughs> wow. Okay, my score. Uh huh. Um, I do like theme in a game and feeling like, oh, this is cool. Like, so I didn't really get that from this game theme wise. It looked nice, mm -hmm. fine, but the easy, the best thing for me was that it was easy to play, easy to pick up. Mm. Um, a point down for the rules. <laughs> this, this, sa just convenient. sounding like I'm not playing that, <laughs> but it was a whole point down. A whole point down. <laughs> but in the end, yeah, it was really easy to pick up, easy to follow, yeah. and also not. Too easy to play, like you still think about it and things. I did like that. Mm. I'm gonna give an extra point for the um, the coins because they're cool. Fair. So it's back up. So back up <laughs> <laughs> the point you lost. A square then. I'll tell you what I did like about it as well. Um, just before we score, mm. uh, the insert in the box and the way that it all comes. Uh, so you get the little bowls for the cubes, oh, yeah, like the little bowls. And when you put it all away, it all sits away. Like almost like little baskets, aren't they? Yeah, it's it really, uh, you know, again, top notch uh, production mm. from Plan B. So sorry. So back to um, you. I heavily rely on theme for my points, I think. Fair enough. And just the feeling of like some excitement playing it. So, um, but it's also easy to play, so it's a tough one. I'm going to be six and a half. Six and a half. So with my eight, that's 14 and a half out of 20. Is it? Yeah, is that right? <laughs> 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 yeah. Not bad. Um, so yeah, very good. Century Spice Road. I'd also say, um, yeah. It's a game I would play with my family, my parents. No, that's a big deal. That's a big deal because mm. my parents like Boggle <laughs> and Monopoly and, you know. Oh, very... I thought you were saying they like Boggle. <laughs> boggle. <laughs> Monopoly boggle, right, and, boggle, yeah, boggle party games type things. Yeah. So I would not be afraid to take this to them and say, it's good, give it a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is a good thing. Yeah. As long as you don't <laughs> you don't let them read the rule book, you just tell them no, how to play. Yeah, just tell them how to play. Because that would scare them. <laughs> cool. Okay, so... Uh, very good, though. Very recommended. And I would say don't be put off by, if it sounds confusing, just yeah. give it a go. Good call. Good call. Really good. And just quickly as well, this is one of a trilogy of games that were brought out by uh, this um, uh, this producer. Uh, so it starts with Century Spice Road, and then there is Century Eastern Wonders, and then Century Worlds End, I think it's called. Mm. Um so they play separately, so standalone, the next one standalone, the next one standalone. But you can then add them all together as the game goes by. Oh, that sounds confusing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it probably is. Um, we've not done that yet, so that's something for us to do. So um, hey. just put that in mind. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe and so on if you want to watch the next video in our series. And we'll see you next time.